5, a Wisconsin athlete makes U.S. Olympic history after she completes the race of her life. And that is where we begin our coverage of the Winter Olympics at 5. Our Lance Allen joins us live from the Pettit National Ice Center with this remarkable story. Love this, Lance. Absolutely incredible, Carol. Deidre Irwin is now the answer to a trivia question. The best U.S. finisher of an individual biathlon event in the Olympics, woman or man, in Team USA history. How about that? And even the Pulaski native couldn't believe it. <laughs> How's it feel? I don't even know right now. I just started laughing first. I was just like, this is, this is unreal. This is a dream. Uh, and then like, obviously like cry laughing. Cause like, what the heck I'd never gotten even a top 30 before, um, on the world cup. So to get a top 10 is just amazing. What does it mean to you to be the best finisher in any individual biathlon race for the U S it's just an honor to be in the same sentence as the people who've come before me, Susan Dunkley and Lowell Bailey, a world champion medalists. Irwin's victory meal is an American classic, Kentucky Fried Chicken. We have a little KFC stand and that was just calling to me. <laughs> so at the KFC, you know, you get the Coke and everything like that. And also our um, Team USA, <clears throat> like food area, they have um, muffins and mac and cheese and everything that we could possibly craving waiting for us. Actually, I think the highlight of tonight was eating goldfish while getting my recovery massage. You're just living the dream when that happens. So <laughs> I was really hungry and my masseuse was just like, do you want some goldfish? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. And her pre-race dinner, also a classic, dessert. For me, definitely eating dessert for dinner <laughs> makes me happy. <laughs> So I just ate a bowl of cake last night. You know, some people think about their food a lot. For me, I just try to eat whatever, you know, I'm craving at the time. Hey, I say if it works, it works. Halfway around the world, Deidre's family here in Milwaukee. They were up early to cheer her on. Deidre's cousin says today's run will make for a great topic of conversation come around the holidays. We're just so proud. It's emotional, it's just my cousins, Deidre's brothers, my sister and I are just gonna be left in the dust at the uh, kids table next Thanksgiving. I should say so, tonight at 6.30 in the Olympic Zone, we will hear from Deidre's mom, the one piece of advice she gave her daughter after today's historic performance. She had messages and messages and she said yes, she definitely talked to mom and dad first before answering the other messages. The other 